morning, boys and girls. It's another wonderful day. And let's start with the calendar. Let's just get started right away here. We're in the month of April, 2020. And let's count our numbers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And after seven is eight. I almost heard you that time. I think I heard you that time. It is the 8th of April. Does anybody know what day it is? Yesterday was Tuesday. I'll give you that hint. All right, I think you guys each have a guess in your head. Okay, let's check your work to see if you got it right. Ready? Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday, days of the week. Did you guess Wednesday? Because it is Wednesday. What does Wednesday start with? A W, that's right. Woof, woof, Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, April 8th, 2020. Boys and girls, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. There are so many things to be glad about today. Let's check out the weather. Ready? What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? All together. What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Is it sunny? Is it cloudy? Is it rainy or windy? What's the temperature? What's the temperature? Is it hot or is it cold? Take your binoculars, go look out the window and tell me what is the weather today? Oh, I hope it's a nice day out. All right, this question is, do you like to, ha to eat hard boiled eggs? Hard boiled eggs are the type of eggs. So you can make eggs a whole bunch of different ways. We talked last week about when we make omelets, uh, uh, omelets, remember that? We talk about um, eggs can be made in different ways, scrambled eggs, omelets, um, and another way is hard boiled eggs or dippy eggs too. There's dippy eggs, I love dippy eggs. Um, but so an, a hard boiled egg is so when you put your hard, your egg still in the shell and you boil it in really hot water. Your moms and dads do this. You don't. Um, and then when it's done, you crack the shell and the egg is firm. It's not like when you crack an egg and it like juices everywhere. No, it's not. It, it, it's, it creates like this little solid egg. And... These are the types of eggs that you dye for Easter, right? You, you put like, you dip them in some colored water and they come out so pretty. I wonder if you've done that. Have you guys dyed your eggs yet? But so anyway, a hard boiled egg is that egg that is white with the yellow inside. Do you like eating those? I like eating the white part, not so much the yellow part. Let's take a guess. I'm gonna guess most of you don't like to eat them, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say maybe some of you do. I bet Logan doesn't, Abraham doesn't. I think Emmett does. And I actually think maybe Harper does too. I guess Addison doesn't, Aiden doesn't, Adomba doesn't. I think Paige does, and Elena does, and Ayn does. I don't think Ellie does. Look at, find your name. Did I guess she was right? Thumbs up if I did, thumbs down if I didn't. I'm sorry if I got mix, them mixed up, but we're gonna just use these numbers for today. Here we go, which has more, yes or no? No has more, no has one more than yes. Let's count. <gasps> I thought I lost this, I didn't. It's right here the whole time. Let's count how many yeses, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Five yeses. Mrs. Magic Marker, can you do the yes of five? Thumbs up if she did the five. Thumbs down, magic marker. Oh, we're getting so good about this. That's a nine. That's not a five. A five. Five is right here on our calendar. Five. Ooh, that's a good five. That's a nice professional five, magic marker. Good job. All right, let's count the yes of the nose. It's gonna be one more than five, right? One more than five. Do you know what one more than five is? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's right. Mr. Magic Baca, can you make a six? Oh, he did. Good job, Magic Marker. 
Parker. Wonderful job. Five and six is 11. Let's check it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Good job, friends. Now we opened some eggs yesterday. And we're going to open a few more today to talk about our Bible story. You remember there was the donkey when Jesus rode into Jerusalem. And then there were the coins when Judas betrayed Jesus. And then there was... Who's in here? And then there was the cup, remember, from the dinner they shared. So let's see what comes next. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake. Oh, this, this is a little strange. The hands, and the hands are in a position like this. What do you think these hands represent? Maybe they represent praying. Now, before Jesus was arrested, he went to the garden to pray, to talk to God. Did you know Jesus prayed too? Jesus wants you to pray. I want you to remember to pray and take time with God today, just like Jesus did. And Jesus prayed in a garden. And I bet you have a garden at home or maybe just a pretty flower that you could find or Maybe a nice little like cove of bushes or something. Find a little spot that maybe you can you can pray to God. It doesn't have to be in a garden, but if you have one, that would be a cool place to pray. All right, so we have praying hands. You can barely hear something in here. Hmm, what could this be? Oh, this one makes me sad, boys and girls. It's a leather. And we remember this reminds us of when they hit Jesus with this. And that would hurt. They used this leather to hurt and to whip Jesus' back. It really hurt him. He went through a lot of pain just for us. Let's find out what number six is. Mm. Oh, this one makes me sad too. It's a crown of thorns. I think they have a like a, a pricker bush. Have you ever seen a pricker bush with, with thorns on the side? That's what this was. And they made it into a crown. And they put it on his head. And it hurt him. Jesus suffered a lot of pain for us. Do you know why he suffered that pain? I hope you all had the answer, because the answer is that he loves you. Jesus suffered so much because he loves you so much. And he loves you even when you're, you're not doing the right thing all the time, or maybe when you're feeling sad or worried or scared. No matter how you're feeling, Jesus loves you so much. Let's sing that song together. You know what song I'm singing, I'm talking about, right? And I'm going to just say children, but I want you to replace it with your name. So Jesus loves his little children. So instead of saying that, I want you to say, Jesus loves his little Addison. Or if you're not Addison, Aiden. Jesus loves my little Abraham. Jesus loves my little Ellie. Jesus loves my little Logan. Jesus loves my little Harper. Jesus loves my little Annette. Jesus loves my little Ayn. Jesus loves my little Paige. Jesus loves my little Elena. Jesus loves my little Adomba. I think I said them all. He loves them every single day when they're happy, when they're sad, when they're silly, and when they're bad. Jesus loves his little children every day. He loves you, boys and girls. Let's pray. Jesus, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you so much for loving us so much that you, you came here on earth to teach us your ways and to suffer, Jesus, you hurt 
you got hurt so badly and you did it all for us so that when we do something wrong, that you can forgive us. So God, I ask that you remind us daily to ask for your forgiveness when we choose to do the wrong thing. Help us to choose the right thing, to live by your teachings and your direction. We love you and we miss you. I mean, we love you and we miss one another, Jesus. So we pray that you help us get back to school and have a, a, a special time of, of, um, of reuniting. In your name we pray. Amen. Bye, guys.